What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Stars Mikel Moroni and Anna Maria Sekluka are set to return in 365 Days 2. But since the film is based on the books by the same name, fans were quite surprised when they discovered the plot that is featured in the books. Some theories even suggest that Laura is going to die. Then, there's the evil twin of Massimo that is going to make an appearance in the sequel. Keep watching to find out everything about 365 Days 2. The Evil Twin the popular Netflix movie 365 DNI, or 365 Days, is based on a book series by Blanca Lubinska, the second book named 10 Dizian. This Day was released in 2018, and this one is quite different from the first one. First, because of the addition of the new characters including Adriano, Massimo's evil twin brother. Yes, expect a Televisia presenta plot this time. And this evil twin brother is going to change everything in the sequel. Let's get to know this character character a little better. According to the book, Adriano studied in Britain, hence he's living there. He decided to leave the family business a long time ago, and he has no regrets. He is indeed different from Massimo. As we all know, the first film ended on a cliffhanger, with Massimo finding out that someone plans to kill his fiance, Laura. Then we saw Laura's vehicle entering a tunnel in the Italian countryside, but the final scene showed a police car blocking the underpass entrance. Oh, and Laura is pregnant. Nevertheless, the movie is not completely adapted from the book as some changes were made regarding the plot. Now, the book features Massimo and Laura trying to live a normal life after marrying each other. And then boom, Laura is kidnapped again. The new character Marcelo Nacho Matos, who's a hitman and the son of yet another mob boss, will kidnap Laura. So, the plot of the second film will be focused on a love triangle as Laura will develop feelings for her new captor. This might be really similar to the first film's plot, but it is what it is. Now we're certainly sure that Massimo won't give up on his wife and their unborn child, so he'll definitely fight for her. One thing is certain, though. We should expect a lot of interesting events in 365 Days 2. The second novel also shows that Massimo will have to choose between saving Laura or the baby. 365 Days has been regularly compared to Fifty Shades of Grey, and that's not surprising at all. While the two films are so similar in storytelling, most fans agreed that 365 Days is much better, and the steamy scenes make most of the film being so prosperous as they look so damn realistic. Fans couldn't help but wonder if the scenes are real, and they constantly question this until Mikel Maroney, who plays Massimo in the film, denied that he and co-star Anna Maria Segluca are really doing it on scene. It seems real because we're good actors, he said. We know how to fake. Hi like you to teach me how to be gentle. More steamy scenes. Shortly after 365 Days was released on Netflix, the lead star of the film, Mikel Moroni, confirmed that they are working on the second film already. As we previously said, the films are based on the trilogy of Blanca Lipinska. The subsequent novels are named Ten Dizien, This Day, and Cold Jean 365 DNI, Another 365 Days. In an interview with OprahMag.com, 365 Days author Blanca Lipinska explained that she wanted to give her fans more than what they'll find in the book and create something new. This just confirms that what we read in the books might not be used in the films. In the same interview, Lipinska said that the second film will have much more steamy scenes. It will be a very hot movie, the author said. Now guys, even though some things will certainly be changed from the books, we are also sure that some things will stay the same. And we truly don't want to see this following one. What's going on? Did you kill him? It's none of your business. You killed him. I shot his heads. I wouldn't have to do it if you didn't dress like a whore and put on your little show. Laura dies. To be clear, the second book by Lipinska's trilogy is really messed up. To be more precise, the book is all about Laura and her struggles through, um, everything from secret twins to heart transplants to manipulative games. As we previously said, the first film ends with Laura being pregnant and wearing a ring that proves she and Massimo are now engaged. Also, a huge bravo for the choice of the ring. That thing blinded us. Then Oga and Laura are going to check out some wedding dresses. Then they go to Massimo's Sicilian Fortress. 
This is when Mario Bronislaw Roklowski, Massimo's consigliere, gets the call. Someone has to put out the assassination attempt on Laura. So, is this Anna? Is this someone from Massimo's enemies? Nevertheless, it's really weird that Mario gets the warning. Then, Laura loses cell phone service and Mario is now unable to inform her. The movie ends with Massimo screaming and fans were truly confused. Were assassins in the tunnel? Is this where we'll meet the evil twin? Fans were really concerned about what to expect from the second film. What if Laura gets killed in the coastal tunnel? This film is all about plot twists and the film can feature Massimo getting revenge on that one person who killed his wife. The film can also feature Massimo and his newborn baby. But let's hope Laura does survive. The book summary. As we previously said, there will be a new major character in the sequel and it will be played by Simone Susina. His arrival creates a love triangle in a slightly ridiculous twist that defines the second movie. When it comes to the behind-the-scenes crew, the film is being co-written by Blanca Lepenska, as the first one was. Barba Bialoas and Tomas Mendez, who directed the first movie, will also direct part two, according to Deadline. The second book, Ten Zien, That Day, was published in 2018. The third and final book, Kolu Jian, 365 DNI, Another 365 Days, came out in 2019. The completed trilogy is the source of spoilers about the second film, and we can be sure that Massimo and Laura will face the biggest issues in the second film. In the books, Laura survives the assassination attempt and fights with other things to save their relationship with Massimo so the couple can live there happily ever after. But when it comes to the book summary, um, it brings a lot of uncertainty about Laura's decision making. Here's what the summary states. Everything would be perfect if not for the fact that gangsters are all around. Crime hangs in the air. Someone is constantly trying to kidnap her and kill her, and her best friend Olga blindly follows in her footsteps. Being the wife of the most dangerous man in Sicily has its consequences, and Laura will find this out painfully. The second book also focuses on the evil British twin, Adriano, and Olga and Domenico start dating. Mikel Maroni and Anna Maria Secluca have both stated that they'll be back for the sequel, and according to both actors, the pandemic got in their way, and they don't know when or where it will film. There's also no release date publicly set. The third book. Can you guess what fans hate most about 365 Days? Well, that's an easy question. The third book. But if you haven't read the books, you need to be grateful and simply wait for the third film. Also, let's wish that the third film won't follow anything from the book that is going to be based on. Why? Well, you and all the fans of 365 Days certainly don't want to see Massimo killing Laura's dog and sending her in a box. Oh, in the third book, he kidnaps her again and tries to get her pregnant after she has a miscarriage. Laura also struggles with alcohol addiction in the third book. She requires a heart transplant, and believe it or not, she ends up having Nacho's baby. In the end, Laura runs away with Nacho, and this makes the third book the most hated book in the world. But it's probably the author's idea to show us that Massimo is simply the progressive, cruel partner not ready to change himself in order to keep his relationship steady with Laura. We don't know about you, but this gave us strong Hard and Scott vibes. You know, the bad boy from the after series. Nevertheless, we'll have to wait and see what the second film of 365 Days is going to present. What are your theories about it? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching!